best experience that you've had living overseas? It, it would have to be that trip of, I was, yes, I was living overseas, but I took that trip of, um, of four months hitchhiking and couch surfing. And the reason that was such a, an eye-opening and heart-opening experience was I was really shocked by the outrageous, there's no reason that people should be so kind and so helpful to a stranger, but they did it just out of the goodness of their hearts. Mm -hmm. And um, one story I've retold a couple of times, a few times, many times, uh, I was hitchhiking from uh, Zagreb, just on the outskirts of Zagreb, the um, capital of Croatia, to Ljubljana and to Slovenia. I think it was about a two or three hour journey. And uh, I think within 30 minutes I got a ride in the afternoon, which is actually not a bad time for, for me as a solo hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. The person who picked me up had a decal on the outside of her car, it said like Anja. And she, uh, as it turns out, was like a C-list celebrity. She was a judge on the Croatian X Factor. and. Um, she was super friendly, and the entire two or so hours uh, on that ride, it started to like pour down rain halfway through. She told me about this harrowing divorce procedure she was going through, and I mostly just shut up, shut, shut up, and listened. Um, her young only child like maybe he's nine or ten or something was going through it and he was having a really rough go she was like rubbing her like uh, healing crystal or something the entire time and she was just like pouring her heart out to me um, and I was really happy to listen to her and just to be somebody a sounding board I guess um, for that short time um, and, and sympathize with her and eventually, I mean, this just blew me away. We got to outside of Ljubljana, and she was going actually into like the mountains a little bit outside the city. Her uh, boyfriend, I think, had a cabin there. And she's like, here are the keys to my apartment. Like, she, don't, she, she was well off. Here are the keys to my apartment in the middle of the city, like a, a really nice apartment. She's like, I stopped. Uh, drinking a while ago so have at my liquor cabinet if you feel like it and uh, and she's like and you can have anybody over if you feel like it you know um, treat it like your own she's like you can sleep in my son's room <laughs> I was like what nobody was there she just totally trusted me a stranger to like go hang out in her house and she didn't give me any like limit she's like just go go yeah I was like <laughs> And there was other, that was maybe the most extreme story, but basically, why do I say that's the best time abroad? It really just made me want to pay it forward. And like, and you know, we're taught stranger danger for a good reason, because sometimes people have bad intentions, especially towards children. But like, you, you learn to trust your gut, number one, and you learn to figure situ and like, it, I grew so much, I grew way more confident. Mm -hmm. Like tra solo traveling, you have to talk to people to just keep your sanity. Mm -hmm. And so I became much more like outgoing um, uh, and my confidence skyrocketed. It really changed my personality. Um, there were times I was very lonely. Um, and so, you know, you deal, you, you deal with the good and the bad. But I recommend people try solo travel. Okay, okay. So big proponent of pushing people to travel on their own, no safety net, no friends to bounce ideas off of. You've got to meet new people and get out there. I wouldn't say no safety net. I mean, you have your emergency contacts. You maybe tell people where you're going. Like, you, you be intelligent about it. Yeah. But there's so much about, like, being able to read people. And, and it's not for everybody, to, just to be clear. I think it takes a certain personality. But for me, it was... It's just so eye-opening, and more importantly, like, I wanted, like, it made me want to pay it forward, like I said, and it made me just, like, trust people and, like, really want to, like, it made me see the goodness in people. Like, it restored a lot of faith in humanity, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, especially with, you know, a lot of one social media and news destroying almost 
humanity, uh, in my opinion. Like, I think that what you see is never super positive and trying to change that. So that's cool. That's cool. great point. I think it's an antidote for how social media can just make you feel like crap yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.